Okay, in this video, I am going to talk about the pivot tables. Pivot tables are nothing special. They are very easy to learn. There is nothing special about it. You will see it right now. Now, what? why do we need a pivot table? Pivot table actually allows you to present the data that allows random to the normal user. And that person cannot actually make any sense of their data. So what you have to do is to actually consolidate that data in such a manner that the management or the concerned person should be able to make that decision out of it by looking at that data. Now if you see into the data we have, you can see there is a category name on the second field, product name and product sales and ship quota. Now let's start with the first thing, what is category name? This is right the category name. We have privileges and other things as you can see. And under this category name, there is a product name. The product name is a subcategory of the category name. And we have under privilege, we have Chai, Chang and so on and so forth. And then we have sales. But the sales is again for the bridges and for the chai. See, if you see it this way, the category name, this is for the product of this thing. And we have the sales for this thing, but we have for the quarter one, which is this thing. Quarter two is this. Quarter three is this thing. The quarter four is this. What the management wants is that it wants the category name to be consolidated. What it means that there should be only one row of privileges. Okay. And under that and, and one row for the next that is condiments. That is what is actually it wants to do. It wants only one row for each category name. And in the column they want this only four quarters. Quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And a sales for each quarter but only one row for the category name. That is what the management wants and that is what you have to give it to the management. That is how you are going to use the pivot table. Now, if you understand the data, then creating a pivot table is nothing. Most of the work is done by the Excel. You do not have to do anything. But understanding the data, what you want and what, how you are going to use it, will actually make a big difference in, for you in creating a pivot table. Okay, right now, I have this thing. Remember the first row has to be the column name and mind you these do not have a blank row in the range. Now we are going to select the range as you can see I am selecting the range. Okay here I have selected the range and here it is. Now after selecting the range I can I will go to the insert and I will say create table. So I need to create a table before creating a pivot table. Pivot table cannot actually use your data directly. So you click on create table. I need to select the range and it will create the table. Now the thing is that it gives the name automatically to what for the table name as you will see. Now you can see the tables already been created. You can see this there is a design to format the styles and other things. I am not going to go into that thing. I am going to back go to the detail back. Now I want to create a pivot table. The next step, that's the only the thing. Okay, the next step is to create a pivot table. So here I go and click and here it starts. And actually as you can see, it will pick up the name automatically when you are saying because it's creating a table three, it knows what the name it has given, it has picked up and I'm going to click OK. Now it will be showing me the sheets. Okay, here is a pivot table, but I cannot make understand what this is here. And this is where the pivot table data will be created. Now on the right side if you see that there is a lot of fields here that were there in the data. And then there is a row field, there is a value, there is a report filter, there is a column labels. Now the management wanted the report by the category name. So the category would be coming into the row, isn't it? So I drag the category name and leave it into the row. Great, it has come in the left side as you can see. 
Now what it wanted by the quarters. So the I want the first the now this these are the rows that are coming. Now I want the columns. So the column has to be the quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. Here is the column. Okay, I dragged it here. I got the quarter. Now what do I want into this thing? I want the sales. So I drag the sales. Where do I drag the sales? I drag it in the values. Now here it is. I have dragged in the values and we have already created the people table report. So far so good. Now this is already the data has been consolidated and you can present it to the management. But the management may say, okay, it looks good. But I need to be need to have the product name also category into it with each using each category. So just drag the product name, believe the category name, and you can see here it is. You have got the data consolidated by the Category name and inside each category name you have a product name. That's good, very good. But the thing is that the now the management says, okay, we need a, we cannot, we this is very good, but we do not have the time. We need to have a very short way of looking at, so we need a charter about it. Well, I'm good. Drag, click on the pivot chart, select the pie one, and I'm going to select this one. I'm going to click OK. Well and good, so you can see, okay, here it is, but it doesn't make sense. Just remove the category name and put it back. Now it will make sense. As you can see, all the category, this is by all the category names. We remove the product name under each category, it was making it more this thing. Can just say, now this is sales, this is not quarter. I will show you the reason. Okay, let me change it to the sales. Now let's go and cut up this. Suppose if I want, do not want these two products, so I can actually go here and check. Excel does it everything for you. You do not actually have to worry about it. Just you have to keep on clicking what you do, you do not want and what you want. Suppose if I do not want to this thing, category, and here it goes away. And as you can see that the, it has disappeared from this side. Also, isn't it good? Now, again, if I select this, click OK, well and good. It has gone from here also, very nice. I can do the same thing from here. I can select them back and it will appear in the graph. The same thing has appeared back. Now, the thing is, now if I do not want the quarter, I just wanted a quarter one. OK, here it is, for only for quarter one. Very nice. But, suppose if I wanted to change the column, here I can click here, the same thing, I can get it back from here also. Now this is what it is. So far so good. Now suppose if the management, you say, okay, we want it by the product name. Please give us a graph by product name. Okay. Just move the product name down. Move the category name out. And here we have the product name. Here is the graph. Okay. So far, so good. Now you have to drag it. Now this is not what we wanted. What we wanted was not this thing. This is product sales. We do not want product sales. We need product name. And here it is. As you can see, we have got it by the product name. Here it is. Product sales is here summed up. Very nice. Okay, and if they want it by the product category name, just bring the category down and you can remove the product name. As simple as that and just dragging it. That's all. Thank you very much for watching it. This was what about a pivot tables it is. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.